the holiday season, similar scenes are prevalent along the coastline as hundreds of tourists flock to the country's beaches. However, authorities claim this cannot be a common occurrence, so they've created a first-of-its-kind current forecast model. The South African Weather Service is entrusted with the mandate to um, issue severe weather warnings in the country and to save lives uh, in relation to weather-related hazards. These uh, emanate from um, that particular mandate and um, hence the development of this model. Data for the model was taken from six beaches on the Cape Peninsula coastline, including Bloberg, Milneton, Fishwook, Monwabisi, Strand and Kuchel Bay. The system generates daily forecast outputs that include exact times and areas with the highest rip current risk as well as realistic color-coded risk categories, which are then conveyed directly to lifeguards, emergency responders and beach managers. And those tasked with rescue efforts say this will be of significant assistance. And it will give us a really good idea of where rip currents are forecast to be strongest and when. Uh, I think absolutely invaluable. Uh, uh, according to our records, about 56 people are drowned fatally in rip currents around the country each year. This model is going to give us a more insight, more information, more data to analyze. But we mustn't be wary that other beaches has not been covered. Like I said, because the budget is a program, what needs to be done. But we as lifeguards, we welcome it. We will initiate it. We will give them the data that they need for all the other beaches. The second phase of this project will be implemented across the province, as well as in KwaZulu-Natal and the Eastern Cape. Nabe Sutuyechana, Cape Town.